So my name is Tony Walker. I'm with uh, Republic Services, and today we're at the uh, Conestoga uh, pretreatment plant in Pennsylvania. Uh, this is one of our premier plants, to be honest with you. We've uh, was, uh, this was a, a challenging site at first, but we uh, we hired the right crew and the right team members to build a plant that uh, has been uh, we call it an all-star plant for us. And so uh, uh, Kevin here was one of the main guys designed the facility, and. Uh, and Kevin will probably give you more details on that. Kevin? Sure, thanks, Tony. So we were really excited. Brian Caldwell was really excited to get involved with this project. Boy, I think it was like 2009. And to Republic's credit, they were really ahead of the, ahead of the curve. They, they really looked ahead. They were planning ahead on how to manage their leachate into the future. Uh, they saw an issue. Uh, they wanted to look at it very closely come up with the best solution. So we started working with them. We looked at various alternatives. We came up with this treatment plant that we're here at today. Um, it involves very advanced technologies to address current and allow for future uh, considerations as treatment limits get more stringent, uh, requirements are, are tougher to meet. So the treatment plant involves both biological treatment and physical chemical treatment. We're using uh, biological nitrification and denitrification to remove the majority of the contaminants. By incorporating a uh, denitrification process, we're actually recovering uh, alkalinity and oxygen, thus keeping uh, operating costs to a minimum. We then use an advanced technology membrane separation, which allows us to keep the footprint of the plant to a minimum, thus allowing for greater air space in the facility. That's their business. Leachate is not their business. We want this to be as simple to operate and small a footprint as possible. So we use the membranes to separate the biological solids from the clean liquid. The clean liquid is, is then polished through activated carbon to remove any residual contaminants and then it's discharged to the waterway. The discharge actually goes to the Chesapeake Bay watershed. We have to meet very stringent discharge limits, primarily for nutrients, to comply with the Chesapeake Bay watershed limits. So this is an advanced plant. Uh, really excited to see it in operation. Uh, it seems to be running very well. And as Tony said, I think it's a real model for other facilities. It really is, Kevin. It's, uh, you know, we look at you know, these, these, pro these projects to make sure they always meet expectations. And we always are measured by expectations. And so I, I give Kevin and his crew a lot of credit for understanding what we need out of this plant as, as a company and, and make sure that daily we meet those expectations and make sure we stay, stay in compliance and stay in business here in Pennsylvania. So yeah. I, I give Kevin a lot of credit for that. Well, thanks, Tony. And it, it was exciting for us because it was very collaborative throughout, both at the local level and with the corporate folks at Republic. And we came together, had a consistent thought process and what the objectives of the plant were, how we wanted to move it ahead effectively, and I think the whole project turned out really well, so we're really excited about it.